Hey guys, it's me Didi Lejavani. Welcome back to my channel. Hope that you guys are doing great today. In this video, I'm going to share my experience with you in making or creating a business plan. And it's gonna be coming up in some episodes. And this is the first episode. But first, I'd like to ask you, what do you have in mind before you create a business plan? Is it a capital investment? Is it a particular product or service? Is it marketing or sales strategy? Or other aspects that correlate to the business you want to create? If you'd like to know about it, stay tuned in this channel. And oh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed my channel or click the bell icon, please do it now because your support motivates me to create more interesting or fascinating videos. And I'd like to thank to those who have been subscribing my channel, who have been supporting my channel ever since. All right, thanks for being with me. And before pursuing to the main topic, let's come back to the questions. What do you have in mind before you create a business plan? And the answers to this question can be, find out. You guys see my shadow, right? Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of Creating a Business Plan. So, the answer to the questions, what do you have in mind before you create a business plan? And the answer can be the capital investment, the idea, particular product of service, the marketing and sales strategy, productions, the revenues, in addition to what I mentioned earlier, Either way, other elements related to the business creation itself. Well, business is born by the executions of best idea and of course a willingness. Mapping the idea is a critical point in business creations, hence you need to iron out the details of your business that you are going into. Creating a business that you are passionate about it becomes one of the key success factors. Otherwise, you don't do it. So after ironing out the details of your business idea, the next step is that you need to write or create a business plan. And this is the thing that I'm going to share with you. And in the course of writing your business plan, you will be answering your own questions such as, how would you like to establish this business? Or how would you like to establish your company? Who are the investors? Are you establishing a franchise? Who and where are your target market? Who are your competitors? How to market your products? What is your cost of goods sold? Why do people want to buy your product or service? And how are you going to run your company? And so forth. These questions are need to be answered in your business plan. Describing the answers of your questions as detailed as possible will help you know how to revamp the written business plan if it is necessary before executing it into a real business. You will probably need also to state your missions. What is your missions? What are your aims and goals of creating this business? I'm sure that you guys know the answer to the questions why people want to create a business or why you want to create a business. Now let's talk about the business opportunity. Well, the reason for people, you or I myself, create a business because, let's say, you see there's an opportunity or there are great opportunities in the market of the underlying potential opportunities it will generate the bottom line of your business when the business is operated. But the question is that, how can you know if there is a great opportunity in the market if you don't do a market research in the area where you want to enter? Of course, you need to do a research. A robust market research will help you, will give you a 
clear picture whether or not the market is suitable for your business. Let me give you an example. Say you want to open a coffee shop, a restaurant, or you want to open a fashion shop in the district or in a certain district in your hometown. Then you need to define your specific and general target market. So talking about the target market for your coffee shop, your restaurant, your apparel shop, then you need to do a deeper market research so that you know the number of people who are living also working in the area where you want to create a business and this also enables you estimate the number of people who are likely to come over to your coffee shop, a restaurant or your boutique. Bearing in mind that you are not the only single coffee shop, a restaurant or probably you are not the only apparel shop in your target market. Suppose there are some other businesses that might have similar products to yours or similar service to yours. In this case, you really need to do a further research in order to know how many competitors in your target market. After identifying your competitors, then you will be using, you will be exercising SWOT analysis to assess your direct competitors or your indirect rivalries. Exercising, exercising SWOT as your business analytical tools is very good because you can know the strengths of your rivalries that become later on your challenges. Also, you can know the weaknesses of your rivalries that later you can turn these weaknesses into your opportunities. From this analysis, you can then design something that brings value proposition to your business. Without having the value propositions, in my opinion, I don't think that your target market, the people in your target market, will want to buy your products or services. This is because the products you have, the service you have, are identical to the one that your competitors offer. And therefore, I don't think that many people in your target market are going to sacrifice their time, their money, just to test your products or service. Till here, am I making sense? So, the next is about marketing strategy. Unfortunately, I have to stop here. However, I hope you like this first episode and don't worry about the marketing strategy because I will address this in the second episode. Now I set you free. But if you have questions about how to create or write a business plan, then please write them below in the comment section. Likewise, you can provide me with some feedback. And if you like this video, please click the like button. Don't forget to click subscribe and you can share it if you want to. I'm Didi Lujavane. I'll see you soon in the second episode. Ciao.